Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Asa Taro and in today's Pick a Carb <laughs> reading, we are going to be looking at what you guys need to hear right now. So I love doing this reading because it allows pretty much anything and everything to come through. I'll give you guys more details when we get into the piles, but there will be an extended today. I can't tell you what on because I don't know what's going to come through in each pile. I will decide um, towards the end of the reading what I think each extended needs to be about. So it'll be different for each pile, but we have four different piles for you to choose from today. We have pile one with this little french fry patch and the fae and fauna tarot. We have a pile two with this little pizza patch and the synesthesia tarot. We have pile three with this little taco patch and the way of the panda tarot. And finally, we have pile four with this little burger patch and the prism tarot. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to, to decide which pile you feel most drawn to. It's absolutely okay to be drawn to more than one. In this case, um, you know, you never know there might be messages for you and all of them there might be messages for you and none of them. Just take what resonates and throw the rest in the trash. So once you picked your pile, you can go ahead and scroll down to the description box below or uh, the comment section where I will have all the timestamps listed. If you are interested in any of these decks, these are all indie decks that I got on Etsy. So if you want to check them out, they're available on there. And I also have all the decks I use in the description. Uh, but once you've picked your pile, you can go ahead and find your timestamp and we will get into your reading and see what it is you need to hear. Hi there, pile one. If you guys chose the french fries or the chips, whichever one you call it, and the fey and fern. I said I accidentally said fey and fauna in the intro. It's actually the fey and fern tarot. This is going to be your reading. But before we get into the tarot, I want to make sure you pick the right pile. So I'm going to look at your current energy. So if this sounds like you, congratulations, you picked the right pile. If this doesn't sound like your energy, I would suggest either trying another pile and seeing if your energy resonates there. But if you find that your energy isn't found in any of these piles, there's probably no messages for you and that's okay. But we're gonna go ahead and see what your energy looks like. So let's go ahead and start. We have Apocalypsis. We have the sun. Abundance. Actually, no, I wanna move to this side. Abundance and self-worth we have the cobra and the sea serpent we have appreciation and yin okay so pile one what i can see right away is that you guys are actually in a pretty good energy right now um but i feel like the arrival of this energy came after some pretty harsh truths. Um, this could be about relationships, about um, things to do with your family, your career, or maybe just um, certain perceptions about yourself or how you viewed the world. And it kind of seems like you guys had some kind of tower moment in the past or a, a rude awakening of some kind. Like I'm hearing the calm after the storm. And I think you are starting to understand why these things had to happen to you. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that you're getting a lot of clarity and a lot more confidence and success for yourself. Um, we do have fire energy here, so we could have you could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your chart, in your placements. You certainly don't have to. Um, but we also have what from what I can see here is a healed sacral chakra, which is this orange card right here. And it's also represented in the sea serpent. Um, what I'm seeing here is that you guys are probably in your creative energy right now. No matter what you identify as, you're definitely in this feminine energy of receptivity. It's like you're starting to see your worth. You're starting to understand that people's negative actions against you are not um, a reflection of your worth. And I think maybe there were things you had to go through to understand that you didn't deserve certain types of treatments, you didn't deserve certain types of behaviors from people, and that you were worth more and that you were worth better. And so I think you're really starting to stand in your divine feminine energy 
like I said, doesn't matter what you identify as, where you're just starting to be more confident in yourself. You're allowing yourself to be more open with your creativity. You have a lot more clarity and vitality within you. And it seems like you have a lot more gratitude for the universe. You probably are feeling a lot more in tune with yourself and with your guides, the universe, um, God, whatever it is that you believe in. And I think that as a result, actually, you're starting to see the fruits of your labor pay off. Like maybe you recently got a raise. Maybe you recently got a new job. For some of you, maybe your business is doing well. Um, maybe things are just taking off but i think that you had a little bit of a, a perspective switch where you're starting to see the glass half full instead of half empty and i think that this is actually a really good place for you to be in um, especially with this appreciation card that i'm seeing here i feel like for a lot of you you're starting to have appreciation for the journey and i see a cardinal outside right now a very very pretty cardinal so i don't know if cardinals are significant to you but i figured i would say that since i'm seeing one um i think i'm also seeing a little tiny sparrow yep they're singing to you anyway it really feels like you guys are starting to appreciate the journey and have stopped focusing on a destination and as a result it seems like your manifestations and your ability to attain abundance is coming to you a lot smoother now it's like you're starting to realize that you are worthy of the things you're trying to manifest you are worthy of the things that you want and as a result things are flowing a lot easier for you this is a really wonderful energy to be in and like i feel a little selfish because i'm like i just want to sit in this energy i really like this and i think that this is a good energy for you to be in where you're just kind of being more passive and just allowing things to happen as as they will rather than trying to force things to happen anywhere and i think that you really needed this especially if you have been through some really difficult things in the recent past where you've had to see brutal truths for what they are or have foundations that you really maybe relied on or were a comfort zone for you like fall away and spirit is really saying you know they took all of this away so that you could realize that you are worth so much more and so i feel like you guys are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel you're starting to remind yourself who the fuck you are and that is like a just a wonderful human being let's just be let's just be honest that is who you are and i think you're starting to under understand the cycles of life more that there are beginnings and endings to, to everything we could have leo energy here especially with the sun card being here but i feel like you're just kind of standing more in your power which is interesting because your energy right now is more passive and more feminine but you know like standing in your power is more of like a masculine energy but it's almost like you're finding this balance where now that you know your power, you don't have to assert it over anyone. You just kind of allow things. You're kind of just allowing things to happen and you're observing. You know, with this Cobra card here, some of you might have a spirit guide or spiritual energy that shows up as, um, as a snake. Um, so that was a, that, that's kind of a specific message so, so that may not be for all of you um but if snakes are a sign for you or cobras specifically i do feel like there is um a guide around you that has really been protecting you through all this and is really proud of you and how far you've come in terms of this journey what i'm seeing here it's kind of interesting because you guys do have like serpents and snakes so i feel like you're kind of just allowing life to flow with you for some reason spirit just showed me the image of like a cat and you know how cats are um <laughs> they're really like malleable and, and they and they almost they're like fluids where they um fit <laughs> like the objects that they're sitting in and stuff it's almost like that's what you guys are doing it's like you're not trying to control your surroundings and instead you're just allowing yourself to go with the flow you're in a flow state right now after um probably some pretty difficult experiences and you should be really proud of how far you've come and i just want to say that i'm really proud of you and i'm really proud of this energy because i feel like this wasn't easy for you and now you're just learning to let things come to you and to attract instead of um trying to control trying to grab and this is just this is a really beautiful energy to be in and i'm really proud of you guys so let's see what you need to know about this what do your guides want you to know what do you need to hear i'm gonna set these off to the side
really excited about these cards. These are the first time I'm using these on camera, so hope you guys like these cards. Just get a few good shuffles in there. So Spirit, what do you want Pile 1 to know at this time? What is it important for them to hear? What do you want Pile 4 to know? Okay. So to start, we have the High Priestess in reverse. And we have the Five of Wands in reverse. Oh, spirit. We have the five of swords in reverse. Wow, yeah, okay. You definitely have been coming out of something. Y'all been through some bullshit lately is what I'm seeing. We have the sun upright. Love to see it. Um, and on the back of the deck for this pile, we have death in reverse. And then I'm just going to get some clarifiers really quickly. I feel like I have so much more space than I normally do. This is kind of weird. I don't know what happened there. Um, okay, so can we clarify the High Priestess, please? Spirit, the High Priestess in reverse. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. By the way, don't be scared by reversals. Um, for me, a lot of these reversals seem to be past energies, but uh, the way I interpret reversals is like different every single time. It could be internalized energy, the opposite of the meaning, but don't don't be scared by reversals. Reversals are not bad. I'm going to take this card. Okay, we have the King of Cups in reverse. Can you clarify the Five of Swords for me, please? Okay, we have the Empress in reverse. Or no, the Emperor in reverse. Okay. We have the Two of Wands upright. And on the back of the deck, we have judgment in reverse. Yeah, okay. So it's very clear to me that, yeah, y'all have been through some shit. Like, point blank period. Y'all have been through some shit. And I just want to say I'm very impressed by your ability to come back from this. I definitely feel like for some of you, this is referring to a past relationship that you might have been in with somebody. Um, but it doesn't have to be. Because what I'm seeing here is that it seems like in the past so let's talk about this apocalypsis energy because it seems to be referring to this whatever this moment was and i feel like you have a hard time trusting your intuition and that's really confirmed to me with the seven of cups in reverse it's like Maybe you were relying too much on other people's guidance. I don't want to say particularly tarot, but just like what other people thought, what other people believed. And there were definitely like illusions that you felt like were off, but you didn't really, you felt like you didn't have um, confirmation of it in the 3D, like confirmation of it in the physical world. You had no reason to feel these types of ways. So you kind of ignored it. And I think the first thing that I'm hearing is that spirit really doesn't want you to feel shame for um, not trusting your intuition. Sometimes it's really hard to trust our intuition, especially when we have nothing to confirm what we are feeling in the 3D. That's what's so difficult about trusting it is that we really do have to go off of um, just like like our, our gut feelings and when you're not in touch with yourself it's a lot more difficult to trust that and I almost feel like for some of you this person this definitely doesn't have to be a romantic relationship this could have been a friend um or like a colleague of some kind and I heard for some like a frenemy like somebody that you want to be friends with but you know at the same time like maybe they don't have the best intentions because what I'm seeing here is that this person was definitely pretty jealous of you. 
and if not jealous, very competitive with you. And it kind of seems like maybe you put them on a pedestal or you really just wanted to see the best in them. Maybe that's a habit of yours where you just try to always see the best in people, um, which could be like a projection of, you know, if you have good intentions, you want to believe that other people have those good intentions as well. But what I'm seeing here is that Maybe you ran away from an argument for some of you or you kind of just cut this person out without telling them why. And I feel like Spirit is saying that that you did the right thing by by doing that if, that, if that's what you did. Because it kind of seems like this person maybe was emotionally manipulative and controlling. And it kind of seems like... You shouldn't, you shouldn't be feeling guilty for that because it's really what you needed to do in order to find peace for yourself and like one thing that i'm hearing is that this person you don't owe this person any explanations for why you did what you did um because it, it kind of seems like they would have twisted the story around onto you anyway i feel like you guys were carrying a lot of guilt and shame um unfairly for a long time and i don't like that it feels like you guys do it <sighs> For some of you, I'm definitely getting the idea that this was a friend. Like, this was a friend who would, like, give you, like, backhanded compliments or put you down in weird ways. It seems like they tried to control you in certain ways. And they they couldn't celebrate your successes. It's like, <coughs> excuse me, it seems like in order for them to feel good about themselves, they had to tear you down in the process. And for some of you, I can feel like that might be especially difficult if um, if this was somebody that maybe you were romantically tied to because they might have really, um, they might have really known how to talk the talk. And, and that's my, that's what it, what might have made it even more difficult for you is because I get like a lot of Pisces energy here. So I don't know if you have any Pisces placements but you might have romanticized this person or put them on a pedestal and wanted to believe everything that they were saying to you. And I think one thing that Spirit is saying is that unfortunately, sometimes when we don't follow our intuition, our guides will intervene. And sometimes that love isn't always, sometimes that love is tough. And sometimes guidance doesn't come in a glittery magic form. But I feel like this experience was very necessary for you because look at how good you're doing now. I mean, the fact that we have the sun card here and now we have it popping out here, it seems like you really are seeing clearly now. Like I'm hearing like, I can see clearly now, the rain is gone. And what's interesting is that it was actually raining earlier and the sun has come out again. So I feel like this has been a difficult process of release for you, but I feel like you need assurance to know that this release was absolutely necessary for you. Um, and removing yourself from the conflict or just removing yourself from the situation, I think seemed to be the best solution. And that's where you were like really trusting your intuition here because I feel like this person really knows how to... Um, pull on your heartstrings and kind of guilt trip you. And that's not fair. And I feel like spirit wants you to know that you don't have to beat yourself up. You don't have to judge yourself for not seeing this originally because it really seems like this experience was created to help you trust your intuition more. Because here's what's beautiful is like, now that you're kind of out of this energy, you're in this beautiful sun energy clarified by the two of wands. And the two of wands is a lot about discovery. And I think you're starting to learn that you're worth so much more than how people treat you. And I'm hearing the quote, like we accept the love we think we deserve. And I think that this extends to your friendships, um, especially where maybe you were the type of friend, like I'm hearing you know, if there's three people on the sidewalk, you're the person that would have to trail behind or like your friends didn't prioritize you the way you prioritize them or like specific ones or 
like I said, romantic partners who maybe weren't honest with you or weren't clear about their intentions. You know, they might have portrayed themselves to be very mature. I just heard spiritual narcissist, but I really want to be careful with that because like, first of all, the word narcissist is so overused and everybody has a level of narcissism within them. And there's a great, there's a huge difference between like, you know, a healthy level of narcissism and like narcissistic personality disorder. But I do feel like maybe you are dealing with somebody who um, acted like they were the bee's knees spiritually. And maybe, maybe for some of you, you were getting guidance from somebody who didn't like who just like either didn't know what they were talking about or just felt like they they knew everything and I feel like they belittled you and put you down and like I just don't like that shit at all and I feel like it was really hard for you to trust your intuition in these cases because you didn't want to believe that this person was capable of anything bad um but if to, to give you a better idea of who this might be like they their actions are the exact opposite of everything that they would say and this person does have a very gossipy energy like it seems like they they like they might have talked badly about mutual friends to you or talked badly about other people to you and like spirit kind of wants me to assure you that you are right in assuming that they were also doing this behind your back to other people as well. This is somebody who um, can't really face the music of their own actions and spirit really just doesn't want you to feel bad about removing yourself from this situation because you deserve to be happy. And this kind of apocalyptic scenario happened in order for you to see clearly. And what's beautiful now is that you're in this energy of discovery because you have a brand new perception. I do feel like this person, I don't want to say they were like a karmic partner, but like they were definitely placed in your life for spirit to open your eyes and make you realize that you have more power within you than you think. And that your role in this world isn't just to please others and to fix things for others, that you deserve beautiful things as well, that you deserve to attract abundance, that you deserve to be taken care of, to be pampered, to be loved and nurtured and I feel like now is your time to kind of rediscover who you are and go out into the world with more confidence and this time the difference is that you're going to trust your intuition a lot more it's like this this brought about a very necessary transformation for you where you are finally able to see the light the fact that we start with the high priestess and we end with judgment it's like spirit really needed you to go through this experience and see it in the 3D, to experience it in the 3D. Oh, and now I'm seeing two squirrels. Aw, they're like squirrel besties. I love that for them. That's so cute. <laughs> um, and if you guys are like, bitch, how are you seeing all these animals? I like live on the second floor and there's um, like telephone wires and shit and like squirrels love to run on them and birds and stuff. So I, I get to see a lot of animals, but yeah, they're really cute. Um, I feel like one random message for you guys is that spirit does want you to go out in nature more. It does seem like they use animals and um, flowers slash plants um, as a way to communicate messages with you. But I do think you're coming out of a difficult transformation, a difficult ending, and you're coming out on top. And spirit, what spirit really wants you to understand is that you really couldn't have avoided this like it, it, it was meant to happen this way and it's like if it wasn't this person it would have been someone else you know what I mean like and spirit needed you to realize that you really can trust your intuition more than you think you can and that maybe it's time to start checking in with yourself and pay more attention to your body um when you're around certain people, to pay attention to your feelings when you're around people and to pay attention to just just like what your, um, the signs your body is telling you, which is why I think this sacral chakra healing that you've been going through is so good for you um, because it, it's like you guys needed to, I almost feel like maybe in this pile there was a tendency, I don't want to say dissociate, but kind of like be so in your head that you might detach from your body a little bit or you just might really overthink things to the point where you just don't really know what's going on. But Spirit is really saying that this, this lesson was here for you to really just 
appreciate what you have and, and realize that, that that perspective, that dynamic is not something that you deserve to be in and not something that they want you to be in. So this is your time to follow your happiness, to follow your clarity. And did I say follow your clarity? What does that mean? I don't know. Um, to just follow your own path and decide what works for you. This was all meant for you to stand in your power and gain more control for yourself. And I think as a result, it's like spirits confirming that you learned the lesson you need to learn. You needed to learn. And now it's time to just keep going and keep growing and keep being your best self. But I definitely think that you guys need some self-forgiveness. Um, you guys might be especially guilty of... Um, beating yourself up for things that really are just not your problem. So let's see here. Spirit, what does Kyle 1 need to forgive themselves for? Okay. We have three, and I'm going to take what's on the back of the deck. Okay. So, yeah, I forgive myself for giving away my power by valuing the opinions of others over my own. I choose to believe that when I trust myself to clarify and stand by my own truth, I allow for the creation of a world I actually want to live in. We also have, I forgive myself for mistaking achievement for a measurement of my worth. I choose to believe that although I may find myself drawn towards achievement, my worth is not in any way defined by the extent to which I am capable of attaining my goals. We also have, I forgive myself for creating confusion by adjusting my vision to reflect what others want to experience through me. I choose to believe that when I make my vision my own, I invite others to clarify their desire and seek its fulfillment independently. And your back of the deck energy is, I forgive myself for taking from others when I am concerned I may not have enough for a future moment in time. I choose to believe that I am constantly being moved towards what is meant for me and life's unconditional support is not only unwavering, but also unending. Yeah, it's like you really had to realize that you are that bitch. Um, I'm hearing the song That Bitch by Flo Millie. So maybe you want to listen to that song. Um, that might be good for you. What I think we're going to do is I'm going to give you some positive guidance and then we're going to move over to the extended. And what we're going to do in the extended is I really want to see what what spirit wants you to know about the path forward and like see if maybe there's somebody new coming in or like what like what's next for you because it's like you've kind of been in this recovery period and like what are you attracting by being in this energy of abundance so if this resonated definitely go and join me over here or over there when we're done but we're gonna get some positive guidance for you so moving forward spirit what advice do you have for pile one, please. What advice do you want to give? Sign. This card brings the validation that you've been seeking. This is a sign to take action on whatever it is you have been contemplating. Okay, what else? Oh, okay, we have three coming out here. Look at that, wealth. Money is on its way to you. Think thoughts of abundance. So yeah, this is definitely the confirmation that you are attracting more abundance. You are attracting more wealth. We also have count your rainbows, not your thunderstorms. This card urges you to focus on the positive, what you think about, what you bring about. So yeah, you're starting to, this, this is literally like the calm after the storm, like, and typically it's the calm before the storm, but for you guys, it's the calm after the storm. Like, I definitely feel like the storm already happened. And we have friendship. You're an incredible friend. You're valued and a joy to be around. Yeah, so whatever this person said to you or did to you, like, or this could have been people, like, for some of you, this could have been a whole ass friend group, which in that case, like, that's some bullshit, and I'm sorry, um, but Spirit is really saying, you're a good friend, do not let these people reflect, they're not a reflection of your worth, and you did the best thing for yourself by removing yourself from this situation, and on the back of the deck, I actually want to show you two underneath it we have new beginnings an exciting shift is on its way a new job prospect promotion or home is in the works and finally we have you're glowing you're glowing from the inside out so choose to feel good about yourself you will only attract positive people circumstances and opportunities by doing so yeah you're in a beautiful energy pile one and you're really finally seeing 
why all of this had to happen. So in the extended, we're just going to look at like what blessings are coming because of this and, and what can you expect in the near future? What what things might be falling into place for you and what um, what blessings are to come from this? Maybe new friends, maybe new people. We'll have to see. But if you're leaving me here, Pile One, thank you guys so much for watching this all the way through. And thank you so much to everybody who watches my ads. That is the simplest and easiest way to support me. So I just want to say thank you for exchanging energy with me in that way. Also, um, I, I've seen that, that there are like ads for finding your soulmate. Don't listen to that shit, okay? If I can figure out how to like, I, I'm not in control of what ads like they show. Um, but I think there's a setting. I just have to like figure out what it is where I can like exclude certain ads so I'm gonna try to do that um because like if there's anything that's like oh find your soulmate that's a crock of shit don't listen to it um but yeah, I just want to say thank you for that. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you left a like. If you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribed and clicked that little bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a new reading. Um, if you if this resonated, I'd love for you to comment down below. Let me know how it does. Maybe give some support to other pile ones who maybe went through this too. But um, that's all I have for you. Thank you for letting me read your cards. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye. Hi there, Pile 2. If you guys chose the pizza and the synesthesia tarot, this is going to be your reading. Uh, so before we get into the tarot cards, I'm going to look at your current energy. So if this energy does not resonate, then this message is not meant for you. So you might want to pick a different pile, or if you find you're not drawn to other piles or the other piles aren't resonating, there's probably just not a message for you here, and that's okay. But we're going to see what your energy looks like so that we can know if this message is truly meant for you. So let's go ahead and start. So to start, we have the lover. We have light. Broken heart. Angel of balance. Renewal. Impartiality. Oyster and dragonfly. I was about to be like, so this is really interesting. <laughs> and I'm so guilty of saying this every every reading, but like I always find them interesting. I can't help it. But you're in an you are in an interesting energy, if I'm being honest. Pile pile two. If I accidentally call you a different pile, it's just because I'm not being it's just an accident. But you're in this really interesting energy where it's almost like you're ready for a new beginning of some kind. You've definitely been in this energy of healing and I feel like you're trying really hard to be honest and objective and clear with yourself. With this light card here, it's like you're coming out of a healing cycle, but it's like really important for you this is your perception is what I'm seeing that you're not deceived by your emotions because it's like you've been hurt before. Um, it's possible for some of you past pains are coming through, um, whether you inflicted them on others or others inflicted them on you, possibly both. Um, that might be triggering you a bit. There's definitely a cautious energy to this pile. And when I get this lover card here, I don't think that this necessarily has to be about romantic love. It could be, but it doesn't have to. I feel like this is more about like finding your zest for life again. Um, after a really long period of, of pain, of maybe numbing the pain, of ignoring the pain, of sitting and suffering for some of you, um, I just heard Silence of the Lambs. I don't know, maybe some of you are watching that movie. If so, hello, Clarice. Um, anyway, it really does seem like, though, I'm hearing, I'm also hearing the song. I think it's in uh, Tangled, like the At Last I See the Light. And I do feel like you're coming out of this probably painful cycle with a clearer mind than you did at the start of it, however long ago that might have been. I do feel like you have a hard time trusting trusting yourself. It kind of seems like um, 
you have a hard time knowing like what is your intuition and what is your um either fears um anxiety oh i see a bug it's kind of bothering me but i'm not gonna do anything about it i think it's a light light lightning bug actually that's kind of cool i don't know you do you homie i hope you find a way out because like i'm not stopping the reading anyway it definitely seems like you your mind i can definitely like like just seeing your energy um, my hand is doing this and it's kind of just showing me how quickly your mind is like switching between shit so one thing i do want to say is that when you have trouble knowing what is um your intuition and what is your anxiety um anxiety screams and intuition whispers so anything that is your intuition it's not going to be like intense it's not going to be um it's not going to frighten you in fact our intuition is really easy to ignore because it is so soft and gentle with us but the gentle truth does come through and i think that when you're at your most centered and calm that's when your intuition is really clear and I'm also kind of hearing for some of you, your intuition really tries to come through in your sleep, like in your dreams or um, at night when you're like trying to relax and de-stress. In fact, if you meditate, there might be certain people coming through in your meditations or certain guides coming through um, that you want to be aware of. But it's really interesting because you have the root chakra and the crown chakra here. So it seems like um you're you're like upgrading in the sense of like you're learning a lot of necessary lessons that you needed to learn but i think one thing that's really difficult for you is that you might find yourself um you might find wounds find yourself experiencing painful wounds like reopening or like you might be feeling really good and then all of a sudden this like past wound comes in or something like that but i do feel like for the majority of you you have been healing this and it's like you really want to be open to life again but you don't want to be foolish or um get hurt or hurt others for some like i'm hearing like maybe It's like you're really trying your best to just be objective and logical and um and not allow yourself to get carried away with anything because i think that you getting carried away is what created past pains in the past or um unintentionally inflicting pain on others in the past because for some of you i feel like maybe um you acted in ways that were not like you weren't intentionally trying to hurt anybody but you might have like just through your own you know hurts you might have inflicted pain on others that you didn't intend to that were almost like you um creating a cycle in others that had been forced upon you but what I'm hearing is that you are ready for a new beginning. For some of you, this is in love. Um, for others, I think this is just in life in general, finding the beauty in life again. And what I'm hearing here is that you can start to trust yourself again, and you should be able to trust yourself again. But I think the one thing that really holds you back is your mind. Um, I think that your mind has a lot of because it is so fast you might be somebody that lives in your head i have we see i have air and water energy here so you could have um cancer scorpio pisces placements or um gemini aquarius libra placements you don't have to but they are there uh but what i'm seeing here is that your guides are um around you and they are helping you achieve balance and they're saying that you're in a much better place than you once were and you can start to trust yourself again um you are starting to see see the light again and by that i mean you're starting to um you have the capabilities of seeing the glass half full again i feel like for a while you had this completely half empty perspective like life is pain life is suffering everything is horrible and i think that that just came from you know a lot of really deep wounds within you but what i'm seeing here as a result is that there's things that you want to express um this could be creative expressions this could be expressions of feelings to people um 
or it could just be acknowledging your feelings to yourself like not feelings about anyone but just like you know maybe things in your heart space that you're ready to release that you have not been able to yet but what i'm seeing here is that you're really getting in this energy of being able to be impartial and spirit wants you to know that you can start to trust yourself you can trust your own internal guidance but what they want you to be wary of and what i'm seeing here with this dragonfly is be wary of your mind because you might be the type of person to really rely on logic and I think that's actually what's maybe been holding you back because with your archetype here being the lover it's like you're supposed to integrate an emotional viewpoint into life now your perspective isn't supposed to be entirely emotional but it, it is an, an important aspect of perceiving life and living life to the fullest and so I think spirit wants you to know that you can trust yourself to to be more open again if that's something that you're ready for you can trust yourself to be you're trying as what as what I feel like but it, it seems like a lot of this is happening internally like you're not seeing a lot of external um, validation of this which is why this reading is probably important for you to see but I think spirit is acknowledging that maybe there's things inside that you might be ready to face um, and bring into the external again and that you can trust yourself because you have a more spiritual view now you can look at things from an impartial place and that you are reaching a state of balance and you're seeing the light what i love about this dragonfly is that in the book it talks about being like a master of light and you have this light energy here so what i'm seeing here is that you have healed enough to be ready to be honest with yourself you have healed enough to um start really mending things and for some i think that this is maybe making amends with certain people in your life We'll we'll see when we get into the tarot but I think what also spirit is saying is that um, this is a time for you to be patient with yourself and like ground yourself and be more open to like your spiritual to the spiritual guidance available to you because um, I think I think your biggest enemy right now is yourself and you're probably aware of that but there's definitely things that you aren't expressing and things that maybe you want to express but aren't sure you're ready to yet just because of like of you know your mind and things like that but overall your energy is very it, it's kind of up and down back and forth but it, it is evening out it's it's tempering out like i'm seeing the temperance card here it's like you're you're finding an equilibrium if that makes sense and um spirit is saying that your life is not about suffering and that you're not meant to suffer in fact um, you are ready to start seeing the beauty in life again and you deserve to so let's go ahead and get into your tarot cards and see what they want to say to you and what you need to hear because I definitely think for some of you um, you know with this lover card being here there might be things like maybe you're ready to open yourself up to love again maybe you're ready to um, maybe you're ready to confess feelings for people or maybe you're ready to just put yourself out there maybe you're ready to express yourself creatively like for some of you I heard singing like maybe you're ready to start sharing your music or because that oyster does indicate like artistic talent as well um and maybe for others it's like poetry uh I think it's going to be different for everybody but I think that you're probably aware that um despite the amount of healing you've done there, um, there are some things that you are not allowing yourself to express. So let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants you to know. So Spirit, what do you want Pile 2? I'm going to take these back because I don't I feel like that was too early. What do you want Pile 2 to know? What do they need to hear? Okay, Six of Swords in Reverse. Okay, we have the World in Reverse. Ah, I'm like, man, should I shuffle it right now? What does pile two need to hear? Okay, we have the two of pentacles upright. We have the five of pentacles upright. Bottom of the deck is the nine of cups in reverse. I'm going to get clarifiers for all of these now. Okay, we have the ace of cups upright. Yeah, this is definitely, oh, I think there's, Okay, wow. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here. So I'm just going to kind of put these guys together. Okay. 
How about the world in reverse, spirit? What can you tell me about that, please? We have the Ace of Wands. So we have two Aces coming in here. Uh, for some of you, for my K-pop stands out there, I don't know why I'm channeling so many K-pop songs. Um, it's Gotta Be You by 21 is coming through really strongly. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. And on the back of the deck, we have the Magician in reverse. I feel like this King of Swords and okay, wow. Wow, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this off to the side because this is this is getting pretty clear. So yeah, for some of you, I'm just seeing right off the bat, there's something that you haven't moved on from that is that is preoccupying your mind a lot. Um and for some of you, I feel like with this Magician in Reverse, you might feel like this is you're powerless to change this and it's out of your hands. But what I'm hearing is that it, it's, for some of you, it's not. Like maybe for some of you, you do need to be more in this like energy of manifesting. Um, but for others, it might be something about divine timing with this Wheel of Fortune here. Um, but yeah, with this Six of Swords in Reverse, I feel like there's definitely something that you haven't moved on from. And the fact that it's clarified by the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, I just heard right person, wrong time. So this could be somebody that you that you had something with in the past. I don't wanna say that for everyone because I can just hear some people like groaning, like don't tell me about my ex or anything like that. Because for some of you, it's not really about an ex. It could be about somebody that you were emotionally involved with. Cause I'm getting this feeling of like guilt and like shame attached to it so maybe you ran from somebody maybe you in your pain you weren't like seeing the full truth of the situation for some of you but what I'm hearing is that like I just heard time heals all wounds and I feel like if this is a situation out of your control spirit is saying that they are creating through divine timing they are creating a situation to either allow allow you to have a rebirth with this person um or oh my god this bug is so fucking distracting like bro can you just not like anyway because even with the world in reverse like this world in reverse is really telling me like a cycle of some kind hasn't closed and like there will be with the aces here, it's like there's this opportunity not only to reignite passion, but to reignite feelings. And um, it's almost like spirit is saying for some of you, like, especially if a lot of time has passed and this person hasn't left your mind, like this person, and this is like what you're really stressing about, like spirit is saying, you know, either you will know when the time is right to either reach out and make amends for some of you it's just reaching out for closure like it's not reigniting something but it's gaining closure so that you can start fresh for some of you take what resonates there what feels right to you um but it does seem like if there's something from your past that you're you've been thinking about heavily you will have the opportunity to um turn this situation around i just heard turn the beat around which is interesting <laughs> Um, but one of the most important things about this is what I'm hearing. You might be a fixed sign or have fixed placements. Those will be Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. Um, you might have, have a very fixed perception and spirit might be saying that this perception, um, is not a reality. It's, it, it, it's, um, it's almost like you need to step up. Or maybe that because you're finally getting in this energy of being more impartial and being more objective that you can finally see how maybe your mindset was holding you back more than anything. But if this is not about a person or anything like that, what I'm really hearing here is that there are opportunities um, coming your way through healing the things that you haven't gotten closure from. And what I'm hearing is that you don't need like another person or a situation to come full circle to reach this closure it's more about like either forgiving yourself or uh releasing the situation because it's not serving you 
But what I am hearing is that there are blessings that are meant to meant to come your way. And the only thing holding you back, like for some of you, what I'm hearing is that um, you have been either manifesting a specific person, um, a new person into your life or a person back into your life. And spirit is really saying that they're like acknowledging this with the magician and the nine of cups in reverse, but they want you to be aware of the people currently in your life that might be draining your energy. And also how important it is to be honest with yourself and pay attention to your mindset because I think that anything positive for some of you like almost anything positive in your life you almost believe like you don't deserve it you're not worthy of it or that like you're not gonna get like or that like you're deluding yourself by having hope and like to be honest you really need to cut that shit out because that's actually what's slowing your manifestations down and spirit wants you to be open and objective and surrender the how is what I'm hearing. Like surrender how this is going to happen. Either you'll know when the time is right to act or this maybe this person will reach out or spirit will create the situation for you. The fact that we have the angel of balance and like all of that spiritual energy around you. I do feel like the biggest thing that you're supposed to be focusing on right now is finding balance in your material and physical world where you feel in control, where you're kind of just um, focusing on what you can control and releasing what you can't and finding the beauty in everyday moments. What I'm seeing here with this five of pentacles and the five of swords is that for some of you... Um, like, yeah, for some of you, I am hearing that, like, maybe out of your own pain, you did someone else dirty, or um, you feel like if you try to reopen, revisit something, they wouldn't be open to it. Um, I don't want to say whether they are or not, just because, like, it's going to be different for all of your situations, and you should trust your own guidance first and foremost. But Spirit is saying that, like, just because you've made mistakes and just because you've been hurt doesn't mean that this is supposed to be your life forever and that not everybody is out to get you. I feel like with the seven of pentacles you've been doing a lot of reflecting and you're starting to see how maybe in your because of your own pain because of your fixed mindset you weren't able to see, see things clearly and spirit really doesn't want you to feel guilty about that. Spirit wants you to understand that you are doing the best you could with the knowledge you had at that time. And I think that there needs to be awareness that this wasn't your intentions. Like you weren't actively thinking like, oh, I'm going to fuck this person's life over or, oh, um, I'm going to, I'm going to do to them what they did to me or anything like that. It's more just like, because your mind is so, difficult sometimes at times maybe your mindset is really toxic because of a lack of self-esteem or a lack of belief that um you deserve good things spirit is saying like you're not meant to be in this energy of lack and of betrayal like it's almost like you've had this you've had this attitude of like I'm gonna get you before you get me towards other people because you maybe you are so used to people you know, like screwing you over or treating you like shit. And, you know, Spirit wants me to use the example of like a dog, like a dog that's been abused. Um, you know, when a dog lashes out at people, it's not usually because it's, it's mean. It's because that dog has been hurt and it doesn't trust people and it takes time to rebuild that trust. And I think that what Spirit wants you to understand is that in order to really turn the situation around, in order for you to feel more confident in your manifestations, in putting yourself out there, in being open to new experiences, to love, to um, to um, putting your creations out there for some of you, you have to trust that you're actually like worthy of good things. And you have to realize that it takes time and you have to understand that you are acting out of pain and that that doesn't mean you deserve to punish yourself for the rest of your life. And that you have to be able to trust yourself. And if you can trust yourself, if you can trust your own judgment, then if things turn out to not go as planned, if things turn out wrong or you try, you try to um, 
bury the hatchet with somebody and they're not interested, then you can recognize, okay, like this just is what it is. I have to keep moving forward. You know, I can't change it. I've done my best. This is all I can do. You know, for others, I feel like, you know, maybe... I feel like for some of you, you're definitely not looking at this person or this situation. Like maybe this person already for, forgave you or like, but you're not forgiving yourself. And that's why like you can't move forward. Because what I'm feeling here is that like spirit doesn't want you to be in this energy of unhappiness, of, of feeling cold, of feeling alone. And it's like, for some of you, it's almost like um, an, uh, an attitude is, an attitude adjustment is needed. I feel like this, okay, so here's what's really interesting. So the four cards on the bottom of the deck that I'm seeing is death, the king of swords, the queen of swords, and the eight of swords. So yeah, for some of you, this is definitely somebody that you view, that you really respect, and you view as like an intellectual equal, or um, as somebody that you really care about this doesn't have to be romantic this could be just like a friend um that you that you couldn't see like clearly i feel like for if this is like a specific person you really are mirroring each other's energy of feeling like you're both trapped but it, it's your mindset and what's interesting is that it is represented by these these swords and it's almost like maybe you haven't wanted to open this up because you're afraid that if you do re-enter somebody's life or if you do um or if you do have to revisit this you know maybe you're afraid to know like maybe you're afraid to have that conversation of like what happened in the past maybe you're not ready to face that but I feel like spirit is saying that that you are or that if you're not yet they're gonna create this situation because what I'm hearing here is that like it's really going to be different for all of you in the sense that Whatever the situation is, because it doesn't have to be a person, but the the heaviest energy that I'm getting is that this is about a person. Like I'm hearing like innocent, like maybe you hurt somebody that you weren't intending to hurt. Um, and maybe like you could have projected your pain onto them like, like they were similar to people in your past that hurt you. And so you were just like, oh, you know, they're going to do that same shit or like they don't care. And it's kind of like this like, you had a lot of protective mechanisms that you need to like stop beating yourself up for because it's almost like everything that happened in the past was meant to happen because you were meant to transform and kind of get out of this detached energy, you know, with this queen of swords and this king of swords here. It's like, you know, maybe it's like what spirit is saying is that it was all lined out for a reason. It was, and it was meant to happen this way. But I think spirit wants you to be aware of how, um, you might be blocking the things that you want because you literally don't believe that you're deserving of them. Or you might be so afraid of facing the past that you can't even move forward. So for some of you, you know, maybe this past person isn't somebody that you want to pursue something with, but maybe it's, it's something like necessary for yours and their healing where you guys can just like, you know, forgive each other and move forward and know that that forgiveness is there. It's different for all of you, but I feel like what spirit is saying is that you're not going to know the truth until you're able to stand in your power, realize what you're deserving of and be open to a fresh start and, and be open to guidance because you are in this impartial energy now. So you are able to see things more clearly. But I think because you have these feelings like the, this oyster, it's like your feelings really are what's um, holding you back here. I feel like there's a specific message for some of you that if you're really worried about like your material finances, maybe focus on that until you're in a ready to be until you're ready to be open again. But what I'm hearing here is that you're ready for a new beginning. And I think the only thing holding you back from being truly grounded and renewed is are these things that you're clamming up inside. And so maybe this isn't actually telling these things to a person or um, confronting a situation, but maybe it's like writing a letter to yourself or journaling about it, just acknowledging it. Because I feel like some of these things are buried so deep that you don't even realize um, how they're affecting you because this does seem to be a subconscious thing but the fact that you have the lover archetype i do feel like for a lot of you this could be related to somebody that um means a lot to you and that maybe 
you didn't show them that in the past and you're and you're afraid to like face that but I feel like what spirit is saying is that everything that's truly meant for you like you don't have to force it and like you don't have to like I feel like even as I'm channeling I'm just overthinking what I'm what what I'm telling you because yeah like you guys are overthinking a lot and reflecting a lot and I think what spirit is saying is that you will know when it's ready when the time is right either spirit will set this up for you or you will have to take action for yourself I don't really know like because it is a general reading you're gonna have to trust your gut on that like if you know like you're not meant to reach out to this person you're not meant to instigate a situation here then trust that spirits got your back and and they are creating this but I think that a lot of wounds have been healed and I feel like if a lot of time has passed here and this person or this situation still hasn't left your mind or this like creative opportunity that you're wa wanting to go after still hasn't left you I think there's a reason for that and I feel like spirit is really just saying it's time to stop looking at the glass half full and realize that you are only holding yourself back by believing that you're not worthy of things like if you can trust yourself and and stand firm in who you are then trust that whatever comes your way you are strong enough to handle and I think that spirit is saying that things will turn out better than you think they will and you deserve good things like the biggest thing that I'm hearing is that you guys deserve good things and you need to start trusting that because there could be a reignition of um is the remix is there a song the remix to ignition hot and fresh out the kitchen i don't know why the song is coming in but um i feel like spirit is saying is that if you want to, to create an opportunity or manifest an opportunity you can but you have to believe that you're worthy of it and sometimes like and spirit wants you to not beat yourself up because sometimes we have to make the wrong decisions to realize what it is that we truly want or sometimes we do have to make mistakes in order to see the truth of of situations and what I'm hearing again is time heals all wounds so whether this is a friend um somebody that you had feelings for whether this is like no matter what the case is spirit is really saying that you don't deserve to beat yourself up forever and that you might just you might believe that that you might be unnecessarily punishing yourself is what I'm hearing and you know you're gonna have to assess it assess it um individually for each one of you what I'm really hearing here is that you're not the villain you portray yourself to be and that you deserve good things too and just because you've made mistakes doesn't mean that you have to like villainize yourself forever or feel like you're you have to just create pain for yourself it's just not worth it man and so I think just what you need to hear is that you know situations and people that are truly meant for you you can't lose them like you really can't and this isn't something that you have to overthink but I think that the the first step is acknowledging your emotions on the subject and like what you need in order to move forward because it does seem like you're ready to move on to calmer waters and close out a cycle but it seems like Maybe there's somebody involved here that could help you with that or somebody that would be a wish, somebody or something. I don't want to just say somebody because for for, all, for a lot of you, well, I don't know how many of you, for some of you, it's somebody. For others, it's something. It, it just depends on the situation. But Spirit is really saying you have to be more confident in yourself and trust that the things that you want, want you to. Um, the things that like... If you're constantly on somebody's mind, if you're constantly dreaming about somebody, it's usually vice versa. Like, especially like with, with dreams that happen all the time, like that shit is mirrored. And we have a lot of infinity signs here and I'm hearing as above, so below. And so I think that what spirit, like, and the fact that we, we do have the crown and the root chakra, as above, so below. Spirit is saying that you are in a much more grounded you have a much more grounded perspective you're ready for fresh beginnings and you have an impartial outlook you can trust the guidance you're receiving and you can trust your own internal guidance you're ready for something new you don't have to be be you don't have to have your guard up all the time anymore like you're ready to heal and like these cycles these these difficult times were there for a reason but it's time for you to rise above these feelings of pessimism these feelings of lack because you deserve so much more and 
you're ready for fresh starts. You're ready for a new beginning, but you have to acknowledge these feelings that you might be claiming up or these desires that you, that you are shoving down because I think that they're just creating more resistance. And I feel like spirit just wants you to understand that you are so deserving of beautiful things in your life. So the self-forgiveness deck is going to be very important for you guys. So we're going to start with the self-forgiveness deck. Um, and what I'm thinking we're going to do in the extended is just get more detailed advice and kind of see like, like what's shifting in the future and like what you need to know, like what direct action you should take towards this situation for sure. Uh, but let's see, Spirit, what does Pile 2 need to forgive themselves for? What is it time for Pile 2 to forgive them? for I forgive myself for feeling as though my safety is dependent on another's decision to show up as I think they should. I choose to believe that when I stop waiting for others to give me what I need and accept that responsibility, I discover a strength always available to me. We also have, I forgive myself for thinking others should also be excited about what I personally find to be interesting and worthwhile. I choose to believe that my preferences are a unique expression of who I am and I may experience deeper fulfillment and clarity when honoring my desires independently. Yeah, like maybe for some of you, you didn't go after like certain things because you didn't want to upset somebody else or you didn't want to be judged. And it's like Spirit saying, you know, man, uh, really you really gotta stop stop doing that like you gotta stop living for others and live for yourself it's time to change that shit we also have i forgive myself for attempting to escape the way i really feel about what is happening i choose to believe that every emotion serves a loving purpose and when i flow through each in deep surrender i will arrive at an experience i prefer so yeah maybe maybe these feelings were just really out of your comfort zone and like spirit is really saying you know you don't have to stay in this energy of like escapism or avoiding the situation like but you have to forgive yourself for what you did in the moment and what you did out of pain like it, it, I don't want to say it was your fault like because it probably like it doesn't matter whose fault it was like I think what it comes down to is like if you can't forgive yourself then like you'll never be able to believe that anyone else can forgive you you know what I mean and on the back of the deck, we have, I forgive myself for mistaking confusion for a lack of direction or ambition. I choose to believe that confusion is a divinely orchestrated invitation to create clarity so that I may passionately participate in the creation of life that I want. And oh my God, I have to pause the video for a second because there's a card that I was actually using for myself that spirit wants me to show you. So I'll be right back. Hi there, Pile 2. I'm back. So I had to get this card because actually before I started your reading, my guys were telling me to grab this card and put it back in the deck because I was using it for like my own, my own stuff. And um, I forgot to grab it. So they were like, bitch, you need to go get that. And it, it's really relevant here because we have a lot about comfort. And it says, I forgive myself for avoiding people and situations that may make me uncomfortable. And I choose to believe that each time I give myself permission to change my mind and commit to a new way of showing up in the world, I allow myself to be moved to where a, the possibility of deeper comfort exists. Yeah, so I felt like that might be relevant for some of you. I had it because I, because like <laughs> embarrassing moments time, um, I'm afraid to leave my house. So like, <laughs> I'm like... Uh, bitch, you need to, like, leave your house more and stop avoiding, like, life and people and shit. And, you know, maybe you're in that energy, too. And it's like, hey, we're in it together, man. You know, we got to forgive ourselves for what our ego does to just try to make us feel comfortable. Because our ego is there to um, help us feel safe. But I definitely think, yeah, it, it's almost like you have to stand in your power again and realize that, um, the only thing like slowing you down is yourself. The only thing holding you back is yourself. The only reason you can't trust others is because you're not trusting yourself. But let's see what other advice Spirit has for you. So Spirit, what do you want Pile 2 to know at this time? I'm going to take this one. You're appreciated. Your family and friends appreciate you more than you know. Yeah. So don't discount the people already in your life who love you and appreciate you. And like... 
if anything, if you're scared to face this or like you do face it and it doesn't go well or you do face it or you're not ready to face it, just know like you all, you still have good people in your life and spirit is always going to want to bring you good people and good situations and know that you're loved and that your family and your friends, they want you to go after the things that you love as well, whether that is creative pursuits, whatever it may be. For some of you, I heard something about like theater. So maybe it's like auditioning for some of you. Let it go. It's time to let go of the negative thoughts that are consuming you. Don't waste your energy on them any longer. Yeah. And oh my God. Okay. Spirit also wanted me to talk about this. So negative thoughts. Your negative thoughts don't manifest. So if you're like ever worried because like you're thinking negatively and you're worried that's going to manifest, that's not true. But what negative thoughts do is they slow down your manifestations because they create doubt, they create fear. And what you want to remember is that fear is what if, but faith is even if. So if you follow your own internal guidance and know that even if things don't go my way, even if things don't happen the way I want them to, I trust that there's a lesson in it. I'll grow from it and that there's always something deeper for me to explore but we also have peace tranquility surrounds your life right now a peaceful road awaits and I think that yeah like you deserve to have this peace and be at peace and trust and receive amazing work your persistence is paying off trust the process and expect to receive very soon so yeah for a lot of you like you like I said you might not have to take action towards this at all that spirit might be doing this all in your favor but you do have to trust that these are coming in you might not be open to receiving and that's why your manifestations are holding you back and we okay we have two things. Okay. Clear your mind. Take a walk, bath, or meditate. Clearing your mind is important in moving forward for you right now. So yeah, that's why clearing your mind is really important. Like I, it, I'm not going to lie. Channeling you guys was a bit difficult because your mind does race. You, you are a very mental person and like, there's nothing wrong with that, but you have to remember that your thoughts are not always your reality, but we have yes, 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 yes. Whatever you're asking or wondering about, the answer is a strong yes. The timing is right and you're ready to move forward. So if that sounds right to you, listen to that. That is a sign, you know, it's, it's time for this change, this, this stuff. But um, pile two, I'm going to leave this here. And what we're going to do in the extended is that we're going to see what's shifting around you and also look at what actions you should be taking to, to, to heal yourself. And like if there's any action towards the situation. So if you want to join me in the extended, please, I would love to have you. But if you're leaving me here, thank you guys so much for watching this all the way through. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I felt like I was picking up on a lot of energies. And I think that your energy was a little like sporadic and flighty. So I hope that I did that justice. I hope this helped. Um, but thank you guys so much for being here. And thank you so much to everybody who watches my ads. That is the simplest and easiest way to support me. Um, I don't know. Some people are commenting and saying they're getting ads about like finding a soulmate. Um, I don't know how to control the ads. I'm going to try to figure it out. But like, don't listen to that shit. That stuff is bullshit. Like, yeah, point blank period, that stuff is bullshit. Um, but uh, if this resonated, I would love to hear how in the comments, give the other pile two some support. Um, if you enjoyed this, definitely leave it a like. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribed and joined our little fam. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for letting me read your cards. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye. Hi there, pile three. If you guys chose the taco and the way of the panda tarot, this is going to be your reading on what you need to hear. But before we get into the tarot cards, we're actually going to look at your energy first. And so if this resonates with you, then congrats, you found your pile um, and you can move forward. But if you find that this doesn't resonate for you, then I would either check a different pile, see if there's one that resonates with your energy more. I like to do these in the beginning so you don't have to sit through an entire reading to decide if it's for you or not. But if you find that you can't find your energy here, it's likely there just isn't a message here for you. But let's go ahead and start by looking at your energy. So we have Kairos, Summer, Cheetah, Shark, Rejection, Balance, Adjacent Possibilities, and Rest and Rejuvenation. 
Okay, pile three. The biggest thing that I'm getting here is something that you don't know, but you know. Uh, Kairos talks about synchronicity and mythic time. Time that almost like doesn't seem real. And time like this can be described in ways of like when you're having a really good conversation with somebody and you lose track of time or you're doing something that you really, really enjoy and five hours passes and you have no idea. For a lot of you guys, I'm, I'm getting the energy that there is something that you're very passionate about. It could be a person, but for a lot of you, I feel like it has something more to do with a um, project a business endeavor, um, the desire to pursue some type of creative career for a lot of you is the vibe that I'm getting. And no matter what this is, you'll know exactly what it is because when you're doing it, time isn't really real. It's like you enjoy it so much that you can see yourself either doing it for the rest of your life or you find, you find going after it very risky and very scary. But when you think about what you want to do with your life or what how you want to spend the rest of your life, you always find yourself going back to this particular person or thing. I feel like for a lot of you, it is a thing, like a, a passion of yours. Like I'm hearing for some of you like acting or um, theater. I'm also hearing like, singing for some of you um something about like a band there's a bunch of different options here but I feel like what your energy is in right now is there's this like divide there's what your passions are are pushing you towards and your fears of what might happen if you pursue this um for some of you, this is um, a fear of losing losing approval um, from the people you care about. For others, this is a fear of what if you're not exploring your other options? What if this is the wrong decision sort of thing? And it definitely seems like spirit is trying to give you guidance because your third eye and crown chakras are being showcased here. But I do feel like maybe you are struggling to be open to this guidance because you have so much fear and resistance um, to this topic. So what I'm seeing here is that you're trying to be open, you're trying to be objective, but at the same time, I think that you're really trying to give your mind a break um, or your heart a break. I just heard the Demi Lovato song, Give Your Heart a Break, which is kind of interesting because I don't think that this is have anything. I guess for some of you, this could have to do with a person, but like I said, the primary energy I'm getting is this is like, an endeavor of some kind, a, a risky endeavor is what I feel like for some of you, because there's also a lot of fear of you being rejected or a fear of failure or a fear of what if I'm wrong? But what I'm seeing here is that no matter where you go, it's like you always come back to this, to this truth, to this point. This seems to be something that energizes you, something that makes you feel powerful, something that makes you feel like you. And I feel like you're trying to weigh the pros and cons of this, and you're also trying to appease others. Um, you're trying to make the people around you happy, but I also think you're trying to be logical in the sense of, is this practical for me to do? So I feel like practicality is something that you're trying to think about Maybe for some of you, the summertime is significant because maybe that is your time to think this over. Or maybe you have an opportunity to explore this on a micro level. So like maybe for some of you, you could be going like I heard like a camp or like a retreat of some kind where you can explore this more. But I definitely think that there's fears of like, what if you fail? What if, what if something goes wrong here? But I think you're trying to like give it up to the universe and wait for the signs. And I definitely think that you have been seeing synchronicities about this. The shark card here is really telling me that this is not something that you only have passion about because we have fire and water energies here. So you could have um, Aries, Leo, Sag placements or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces placements, but you don't have to. But what I'm seeing here is that like with this shark card, 
you know the truth in your heart, but I think you're very afraid of acknowledging it because it is the least practical and the scariest option is kind of what I'm seeing here. But it's like every time you try to walk away from it or um, explore different areas, you always find yourself running back to this possibility because it's the one that lights your fire. It's the one that makes you feel the most passionate and it's the one that makes you want to um, to go, to take action, to live life. And I think one thing that Spirit is highlighting here is that in the summer, it is like, it is a time for vitality. It is a time to, you know, get out there and experience new things. But one thing that happens a lot in summer is there's a lot of storms. So I feel like there's an acknowledgement that this isn't something that's going to come easy, that there are going to be challenges. And you're like, do I want to do something easy and like unfulfilling or go after the thing that might be feeling fulfilling and deal with like the weight of being a failure or deal with the weight of being um, incorrect about this or something like that. There's definitely fears of how people will see will see you and like what other people around you will think. Um, and I definitely think that you are somebody who doesn't want to hurt the people in your life. But at the same time, you're like trying to, you're like, should I, uh, should I appease myself or should I appease other people is kind of the vibe that I'm getting. So if that resonates for you, we will see what spirit has to say now. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle your tarot cards and see what spirit wants you to know. So in this reading, we will look at your tarot cards, see what spirit wants to say, and then we will get advice for you. I'm sorry that shuffle was so horrible. <laughs> um, and then and depending on what we see here, we will kind of expand upon that in the extended but as we go I'll just let you guys know once we decide because I'm very curious to see what spirit is going to say here because like I, I feel like for a lot of you this is just going to be confirming what you're feeling but maybe you needed that because you're not sure if you can trust your intuition you're not sure if you're just being like blinded by your own hopes or what these cards do not want to shuffle today but spirit what do you want pile one to know pile one i'm so sorry pile three if i if i suddenly say the wrong pile it's just me like being dumb uh okay so spirit what does pile three need to hear what do they need to know about this okay we have the nine of pentacles and we have the ace of cups to start what else does pile three need to hear i feel like this guy wants to come out we have the queen of pentacles in reverse okay so for some of you this could be a mother figure or um like a mother a grandmother an aunt some type of guardian figure for you that maybe is really well intentioned okay we have strength so we have leo energy coming out here um and we have the hanged panda in reverse <laughs> The only reason I'm laughing is because, I'm sorry, this panda just looks like it's eating ass. Like, I, <laughs> and maybe, and maybe by, by, um, doing the option that would appease this person, it's like you're kissing their ass. Um, but let's get clarifiers for all of these, please, spirit. Okay, we have the three of swords in reverse. We have the Seven of Wands upright. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for me, please, Spirit. We have the Three of Wands upright. How about the Strength card? We have the King of Swords upright. And on the back of the deck, we have Judgment. And I love this little Ace of Wands. I love this deck. Like, these pandas are so much fun. Um, okay, yeah, we have the Ace of up, Wands up right in the star of reverse. I feel like I'm just gonna like leave this here. So I don't know why. I feel like you guys need to know that you are this cool panda. Maybe you need that. Um, okay, so pile three. What do you need to hear about this topic? So one thing that I'm hearing is that 
there really is no um, right or wrong here. There is only options. And I feel like for some of you, maybe one of these options has to do with, um, like maybe you have an offer that would be really, um, really financially abundant, but it could um, like kill your soul a little bit to do. Because what I'm seeing here is that I feel like this passion is represented by the Ace of Cups. And the Aces are all about opportunities. And I think what Spirit is saying is that this is definitely something you are going to have to fight for. Like if this is something that you're passionate about, it is, first of all, if an opportunity came in or is coming in, Spirit wants you to be aware of that and that it's not going to come easy, but it definitely might be worth it. With this Nine of Pentacles here, I feel like Spirit is saying there is an easier path, but you might feel like you're betraying a part of yourself in order to achieve it. There's something about independence here. And I guess for some of you, this could be about a person, which in that case, I feel like there could be an opportunity to maybe, like maybe you're in a much better place than you once were and you could have opportunities to like, fight for this um and if that's the case like you'll know you'll you'll know when it's time but I do feel like for a lot of you this is about this is about a creative endeavor and what spirit wants you to know primarily is that I guess I can't say this for all of you because I don't know all of your family lives individually, but I do feel like um, the guidance, especially if this is a motherly figure that isn't like, um, that is like a healthy person, I feel like they're not coming from a place of like wanting to put you down or put your dreams down. It's just more of that maybe um, they want the best for you and they're thinking from a very practical practical mindset but actually by pursuing this one thing that I'm hearing from spirit is that you could expand their horizons you could um you could really broaden their mind of what is possible and but what I'm but I'm what I'm also hearing from spirit is that you may have to go towards this opportunity with the acknowledgement that you don't have their support. This doesn't have to necessarily be a, a mother figure. Like this could be like both parents, this could be guardians, this could be like friends of yours that are very like overprotective. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that like, if you do choose to take the road less traveled, like I'm hearing like the Robert Frost poem. At least I think it's by Robert Frost. I could be wrong though. I am not a, I am not a poem poem expert. It does seem like this path will require a lot of strength. And in fact, it will require you to have a level of detachment from how passionate you are about this because whatever this um whatever this endeavor is, it's like spirit is confirming to me that it is risky, that it is, that it is something more difficult and that you're not gonna, you're gonna face some challenges here. Like with this King of Swords here, I feel like this path is definitely not, not, not as easy, but it will broaden your mind and it will bring about more wisdom than you could ever imagine. And in fact, one thing that I'm almost hearing is that maybe if like, if you have like one parent, for example, that's supportive of this, not supportive of this, the other one might actually be, if you sit down and talk with them, you might have one supportive parent, but you might be aware that the other one might not be. Um, for some of you, this King of Swords is a spirit guide that is going to help protect you in this endeavor. And in fact, feathers might be a sign that they're around. But I think that this path is definitely going to be one that, while it's tough, you will gain a lot of wisdom. You will learn a lot from it, and it will only make you stronger. And I think one thing that Spirit is saying is that you can't please everyone. And with this Nine of Pentacles here, I feel like you need to understand that your own independence is important, and that... 
I just heard Oedipus complex. Why, Spirit? Like, I don't, I don't get an Oedipus vibe from you guys, but I do feel like maybe you don't believe in yourselves, or maybe you do want the support of your family on this. And maybe it is something to do with love. Like, maybe you want your family's support when it comes to a love interest or something like that, especially, you know, if you're part of, like, the LGBTQIA plus community, you know, maybe you're afraid of what people, what your family might think and you really want their support. But I think what Spirit's saying is that even though the road ahead of you, the one that feels right, like even though it's more difficult, it, it, it definitely is very tough. There's a level of betrayal towards yourself almost if you don't pursue it it's like yeah you might be comfortable you might be safe you might you might get the bag pretty easily but it's like you're not acknowledging a part of your look at how crazy the flame is going right now it's like almost saying like follow your fire follow your fire um i just heard agni which i believe means fire in in sanskrit um i could be wrong though so don't don't um quote me on that but i definitely think that spirit is asking you to follow your fire what 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 makes you passionate like you know this i feel like this cheetah and the seven of wands really have the same energy because even though it's more difficult you have every, your you have the passion and the fire it takes to go up against it and i was just thinking earlier like <laughs> Bro, screw the, like, uh, what is it? The Bryce Hall, Austin McBroom fight. I would like to see a shark and a cheetah, like, fight each other. Wouldn't that be so interesting? Like, if we could just, like, level the playing fields, give them both boxing gloves, and be like, okay, go. I think the shark would win. But the shark is all about your truth. And I don't know. I just think it would be really interesting. <laughs> anyway, um, and for those of you who are not fluent in YouTube culture, you're just going to be like, what is she talking about? But, um... This is a cause worth fighting for because it's something that lights your fire. And the fact that we have this King of Swords here and this strength, you are going to be so shocked at how much you are able to overcome. And with this crown here, I almost feel like you could really achieve a lot in this, in this endeavor. And one thing that I'm hearing is that it's not going to come easy, that you might face a lot of rejection, that you might... Um, which in that case, remember that rejection is divine protection. Um, for some of you, I heard compromised morals. So like some of you might face situations where you have to decide if you want to stick to your morals or release them. But I feel like you guys have a very strong, um, you have a lot of moral integrity. And and I think that's going to test you even more and, and actually give you more give you even more resolve to keep going. And I think with this judgment card and the hanged panda in reverse, it's like you almost have to change your perspective because the truth has been um, slapping you in the face is like what I'm hearing. Not literally, I, at least I hope not literally. There's a lot of aggression in this pile. Um, maybe for some of you, this dream is like fighting or something. I don't know. Um, but with this judgment card here, it's like, I think the only reason why you don't have a clear a clear direction when it comes to this path is because you're afraid to acknowledge the truth. It's like the truth has been like like showing up in your face everywhere. And I think that you've just been pretending like you don't see it. But in fact, it's almost like when you acknowledge it and accept it that, that it's going to come come in. And like for some of you, you might be afraid that this is just a fickle passion and that there's not much that you can really do here, but with the star in reverse, it's like spirits really saying like, you need to be more optimistic. You need to have hope. What's underneath this? Yeah, the eight of pentacles in reverse. It's like, you don't know what you can achieve yet because you haven't worked for it. And maybe for some of you, you need to find a happy medium where you like, maybe you do work for a little bit just to save up some money so then that you can take this opportunity and go towards it is like kind of what I'm hearing. But spirit is asking you not to discount the value of your dreams. And that, you know, 
yes, there can be opportunities that are more fruitful financially, but like, what's the point if you're not fulfilled? And I think that spirit is really asking you to, to expand your horizons and not be afraid to, to explore and discover and go your own path. Like, I feel like you think you're powerless here, but the only reason you see yourself as powerless is because you're still really afraid of what other people might think. But you have to remember that other people, you know, it's not your job to live other people's lives. And your only job is to live your life in the way that's most authentic to you. And I think what Spirit is saying is that it might not be easy. It might be really hard. But I, I said this in my last video, which was about fears. But I said, you know, your greatest fears can often contain your greatest growth. Now, that's not all fears. Like, obviously... If you fear the sharks, for example, nobody's going to be like, hey, go swim in open water with sharks. In fact, why don't you bathe yourself in chum before you do it? Like, that's just foolish. But if you're like, oh, what if I fail? Like, what if I get rejected? You're probably going to fail a couple times and you're probably going to get rejected a few times, especially if this is especially competitive or a really difficult um, path to take. But that doesn't mean that, like, you should should just give up. Like, that means you keep going. And I think what Spirit is saying is that you will learn from all these experiences and they'll only make you stronger. They are warning me that they could make you jaded. But if you remain true to your purpose and your passions, I think that's why being so, so true to your like morals and sticking to like your integrity is really important here. But I, I, I and, and for some of you, I just also heard beware of gold diggers. I don't know what that's about um but i guess i guess be be aware of that um i feel like spirit is saying if you think about this logically like which you have been i feel like you've been thinking about it practically not logically it's like logically you can always go back to the safer option if you decide it's not for you but you deserve to pursue your passions like i haven't seen the flame this like wild in any of the readings and if it has been this wild I guess I haven't been paying attention to it but the spirit is really asking you to like pour gasoline on your inner fire and just allow it to lead you like okay obviously don't pour literal gasoline on yourself this is just a metaphor like that yeah the fire's agreeing with me but like allow your allow your passion to like engulf you and and really see where you could go with this because you could be starting a new endeavor that could bring you a lot of fulfillment and I feel like Spirit's saying like you need to see yourself as like rad and bad and like badass because like you are pretty badass and, and you deserve this um I think for most of you there's just this fear of like what if I fail but I feel like if you've been led to this point where you're like I really feel like I should go after this you know you have to look at the look at the look you have to you have to be a realist and say yes it is not going to be easy. I am probably going to be rejected. I am probably going to be critiqued, but this will help me grow and I will gain experience. And what if I get the role of my dreams? What if I get a record deal? What if I get like, there's so many things. And instead of saying, you know, fear is what if, but faith is even if, even if this doesn't work out, at least I can say I went after it. Even if I find it's not for me, at least I know instead of looking back on my life and being like, oh, well, at least I, at least I, uh, I just lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Um, but I think that spirit is asking you not to take the easy route, to take the route that's for you and take pride in the fact that you want to go after this. You shouldn't be ashamed for this. Take pride in taking the road less traveled and you might have to do some ass kissing along the way like in terms of like networking and stuff I guess that's just a side note something that spirit wants you to know but I think that this is all stuff that you already knew it's just like you needed me to confirm it or you just needed to know that that you're on the right path and we have all these little dragonflies here and dragonflies to me are like seeing the truths and illusions and we have feathers again so i definitely feel like you have a guide that communicates to you through feathers um or dragonflies 
one of those. There's also an Archangel in Judgment. I think it's Gabriel. So um, if Archangel Gabriel um, is significant to you, I would look into that. I think he's I think he's the Archangel of Communication. So for some of you, this might be something with like television broadcasting or something like that. Um, or like writing or um, something like that. But yeah, follow your fire is like definitely what they're saying. I think we're gonna we're gonna get you some advice, but I think in the extended what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what your life will look like if you do follow this. Or and like I said, this this doesn't have to be a passion because like the passion is what is like overriding this reading. I do feel like for a lot of you it's a creative thing, but for some of you I almost feel like this is a person and maybe you have to um overcome your um your your pride or your ego in order to or realize that you're not trapped in this situation and in fact you can um go after it if you truly want it that you don't have to stay in this independent energy but like I said so that message is there for those of you if, if that does resonate but the I think for a lot of you this is a passion or like a creative endeavor so I'm going to shuffle these cards and they're all about self-forgiveness and so we're going to see what you need to forgive yourself for. So spirit, what does pile? Okay, this one wants to come out. I forgive myself for feeling as though I need others to be for me what I must first be for myself. I choose to believe that I am fully capable of providing myself with all that I need as long as I clarify my desires and commit to be guided there as life sees it. Yeah, you might be like forcing yourself to stay in this state of security even though it doesn't make you feel very good you know what i mean what else does pile three need to apologize to themselves for i forgive myself for mistaking confusion for a lack of direction or ambition i choose to believe that confusion is a divinely orchestrated invitation to create clarity so that i may may passionately participate in the creation of the life that i want Let's see what else okay we also have i forgive myself for feeling as though i may be selfish should i pursue something that is solely mine i choose to believe that when i give permission to explore what is important to me i invite others to explore more of what brings them fulfillment as well so maybe some of you are a parent and are afraid that you won't be able to give your um children as much time as they deserve or something like that but spirit is really saying if that's the case you can't feel guilty about that because like they're gonna look to you like you model behavior for them and like they need to believe that they can go after their dreams too and they need to recognize that you're not just a parent you're a person too and you have wants and dreams and desires as well because we have a lot of caregiver energy here and we also have, I forgive myself for expecting others to carry out the experiences I feel would bring me joy. I choose to believe that each individual holds a unique energ energetic signature they were born to embody, and I best support them by holding space patiently without expectation. So maybe for some of you as well, um, maybe you're a parent with a kid that wants to go after something, and you're maybe very scared to like, let go of the reins or, or um, allow them to leave the nest. And I feel like Spirit is really saying, you know, that time has to come at some point. But finally, we have this one that was underneath this card, and I feel like you guys need it as well. I forgive myself for avoiding the experience of that which is new and unknown. I choose to believe that when I accept life's invitation to try something I have not yet experienced, I discover an e even deeper connection with the miraculous complexity of my being. Yeah, it's like you don't have to stay in your comfort zone, man. You're free to, um, you're free to go after whatever it is that you want. You want. It's only your ego that makes you believe that you're limited to certain experiences. So we're going to get some further positive guidance cards before we take it over to the extended. So spirit, what else? What advice do you have for pile? What advice do you have for pile three when it comes to this endeavor? You're appreciated. Your family and friends appreciate you more than you know. So yeah, I feel like one, you have to realize that there are lots of people in your life who will and are rooting for you and know that like, especially if you are a caregiver of some kind, that you are allowed to take time for yourself and that you deserve to take time for yourself. Let's see what else. Let's see what other advice. 
you're deserving accept the good you deserve it reject the bad you deserve more yeah you really do deserve this you deserve to go after this you deserve to see what you could be we also have choose you choose how you feel react and perceive in everything in your life choose to only see through love and positivity yeah like even if you i feel like you can't be attached to you can't be attached to outcomes when it comes to this endeavor. It's like only look at things through love and positivity and know that like if a door doesn't open for you, it wasn't meant to open for you. And that that doesn't mean you're not amazing and not worthy of the best. Health. Treat your body with nutrients and exercise. This is important for your overall well-being right now. Yeah. So maybe like, well, we also have meditate on. Okay. Okay. We got good things coming. So this is a it might help you like maybe especially in your career to focus on your health and focus on like what you can do to just make yourself feel better and feel more confident in yourself but we also have meditate meditation is powerful and can help you see clearly remain calm and become at peace with yourself and what you desire and i think you just have to be have to come have to be at peace with with your desires i feel like that's what you're not making peace with but underneath that card was career. Your career holds an exciting, positive energy around it right now. Expect miracles. So I feel like Spirit is really saying, um, we're, we're, we're trying to give you the green light here to go after what you want because you deserve this and you, and you need to, you need to go after it, man. But pile three, I'm going to leave your reading here. In the extended, we're going to look at like what you, more advice and what you need to know about pursuing this and what you might um, expect just what that entails but if you're leaving me here thank you guys so much for watching this all the way through and thank you so much for watching my ads that is the simplest and easiest way to support me so I just want to say thank you for supporting me and exchanging energy with me in that way um, if this reading resonated definitely let me know down in the comments how and feel free to give the other pile of threes in the comments some support um, if you haven't already I would love it if you uh, liked the video and left a left uh, hit that, that subscribe button I can't talk now all of a sudden um and hit click that little bell notification if you want to be notified anytime I upload a new video um but yeah I think this is all for me thank you for letting me read your cards I hope you all have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this and I hope you'll come back and see me again soon bye hi there pile four thank you so much for joining me if you guys chose the prism tarot and this burger this is going to be your reading. So before we get into it, before we get into the tarot cards at least, I'm gonna look at your energy first to make sure this is the right pile. Um, so if you resonate with this, congratulations, your intuition is on point and you found the right pile. Um, however, if it's not resonating, I would suggest you look at the other piles and see the energy if you feel drawn to them or if you feel like there are no piles that you feel drawn to or that feel like resonate with your energy, I would say it's very likely that there is no messages in this video for you. So hopefully that's, I don't think that'll be the case always and forever, but you know, that just is the case sometimes, but let's go ahead and look at your energy. So you are being represented by the crone, wood, confusion, instinct, frog, whale, blossoming abundance, and attachment. So this is definitely a very distinct energy. And I would actually say I'm surprised you're here because I think that you are definitely the type of person who doesn't come for um, guidance very often because they don't need it. Um, you are definitely somebody who has seen it all and it doesn't matter how old you are. Um, you've been through a lot of cycles in life and that can even happen when you're still young so it doesn't really matter what your age is but i feel like no matter what you probably f feel old you feel like you have an old soul um age is just a number so it doesn't matter like what your age is um but i definitely feel like there's a feeling of defeat here like you typically feel like you can trust yourself and your own internal guidance. I feel like we have a lot of witches in this pile, um, probably a lot of psychics, mediums, diviners, people of that nature. 
and you probably don't find yourself coming to guidance like this very often. So I'm happy you made it here if this is resonating with you. Um, but you're in a difficult period is, is what I would say. But it's definitely necessary for your growth. And you might find that really frustrating because you feel like you've already grown so much and you've already overcome so much. Like, why, why does shit like this still have to happen? And unfortunately, like the truth of life is that life doesn't stop lifing. And I think that this, there've been experiences in your past. This could have been related to a person. I feel like some, for some of you, this was related to a person. For others, it was an attachment to um, an experience, an attachment to a place, a thing, something that you felt very called to and that you felt like was your instinct and that you were meant to go towards that I feel like is um, either falling away or has already left your life. And I feel like it's left you very confused and left you to heal. But then it's kind of this bittersweet energy where you know that because this stuff has left or these things that you were attached to are, are, go are falling away, it's making room for abundance to come in your life. And I feel like you're having a really hard time with that. For some of you, this feels like somebody that you were with for a very long time. Like I'm hearing for some of you, this might be some somebody that you have gotten a divorce from um, or that you had a life with is what I'm feeling like. Because for some of you, I definitely feel like this is very established energy. But like I said, you know, you didn't have to be married to this person. You know, maybe you had a very long-term relationship with them. Maybe you had, um, maybe this was an attachment to a job that you had for a really long time, a belief that you had for a really long time. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing a home um, or a place where you lived that you might be leaving or, or need to leave. Because with this whale here, you're incredibly emotionally mature. And typically you really don't need anybody's guidance to know which way to go. You have pretty strong instincts and you can trust yourself. You've seen it all. You know, the crone is the last card in the trifecta of the main and the mother and the crone. And you might feel like I've come all this way. Don't tell me that I need to do more healing. Don't tell me that I need to learn something else. Like I've learned so much. I'm fucking tired. It's like, that's the energy that, I, that I'm like feeling. It's like, you guys are exhausted. And you're almost kind of like angry and maybe bitter at spirit um, or your guides or at yourself maybe. And, and I don't think that you deserve to be angry at yourself. But I definitely do think there's this energy of feeling like you, you've played by the rules, you, you've done things by the book, and you don't see the fruits of your labor paying off, or you don't see like, you know, it's like, or like your dreams are finally coming true, and you had to release something that you loved more than anything. And it's like you had to sacrifice something so special to you, and you're almost just, just angry. And, and I feel like Spirit is saying that your anger is justified. And that it's okay to feel like this. But that um, okay, I'm about to say a message, and I don't want you to take it the wrong way because I do feel like there's kind of this energy of in an understandable energy of like the message coming from me, like if like you view me as an experienced or as um like. I feel like some of you might feel like I don't have a right to give this message, which I think is is why you're getting this message from me. Because like this, as you know, you probably are in this type of work. So you know, these messages come through you, not from you. And I feel like what Spirit is saying is just because you've learned a lot, just because you have seen these cycles, doesn't mean that there's a finish line on your healing or your growth. This wood card is all about expansion. And I feel like maybe you got very comfortable in your own guidance and maybe it actually led you astray because you were so confident in what your your inner guidance was telling you it's almost like your inner guidance and your ego were very wrapped with one another and like typically with the crone like I feel like here's the thing you're really good at keeping your ego in check like you're not an egotistical type of person you are somebody who is very like uh, for as much as a human can be, you are very humble. You are very aware. You are very wise. You are very emotionally mature.
but I feel like you're just so used to being able to trust your guidance and trust this stuff that there was something that you were attached to and for some of you it was a person but for others it was a place a thing um, for some of you it's a home like I'm getting very specifically that it is something to do with a home or maybe somebody that felt like home that you're having to let go of or that you did let go of and now that you have it's like you're finally getting what you deserve and I, there's anger towards spirit from this and I think it's because uh, spirit's definitely saying like and I know I should be waiting till the tarot cards to get into it, but they're really just kind of letting me have it already. Um, that, that there needs to be awareness that your healing is never going to end, no matter how much you go through or how many cycles you experience, no matter how old you are, how old you feel. Healing doesn't end and growing doesn't end either. And that your journey you're not supposed to reach a point in your journey where you're like, yep, I've done all my growing. Now I just get to coast. Like, I feel like what Spirit is saying is that unfortunately, because of the path that you chose, and I think that this was before you were born, like this is the path meant for you, the growing never stops and that there's an opportunity here to see how, how releasing attachments that we've been comfortable with can actually be better for our growth. And so it's this bittersweet energy where you're like, <sighs> it's like you know this to be a truth and you're like yep like it's like you can't even be mad at spirit or mad at yourself but there's a natural human part of you that just wants to be angry and wants to be frustrated and I would say that's very valid and that you deserve to feel this way and if you need to feel this way that's okay and you can um but yeah spirit is saying that Well, actually, let's see what spirit is saying. I feel like I've tapped into your energy enough because you've grown a lot. You have deep, profound wisdom within you. But because of your attachments to this person, place, or thing, this noun, if we will, um, it's not. It's allowing you to not see as clearly. And now I feel like you might be like not trusting your guidance as well and being like, have I been going the wrong way this whole time? And I have to say right off the bat, no, you haven't. Um, but there definitely is something in terms of like maybe getting too comfortable with your own guidance to where you maybe weren't able to discern what was your actual intuition and what was your ego being attached to this certain thing. Um, because let me be clear, your guidance that you you're, you give to others hasn't been tainted in any way. So so don't feel like you don't feel like you have to be afraid. Like have I been leading other people astray? Because you haven't. It's it's just this thing attached to you. Um, that is the case. And honestly, I commend you for being here because, you know, especially as a reader and, and or if you're a reader, or a witch, practice witchcraft, whatever it is, like I know when you follow your own internal guidance, you probably just don't really care what other people have to say or don't really want to know what other people have to say. So I have to commend you for seeking guidance outside yourself, especially if you're so used to getting it from yourself. Um, but we are going to see what spirit wants you to know about this because I definitely think that there is some confusion, which was indicated in that confusion card. But I think also like, I feel like one thing that you needed to hear is that it's okay to be human. You're allowed to have feelings of anger, of frustration, of, you know, feel free to curse at the sky if you need to. If you just need to call the sky a damn bastard, you can. Um... I'm going to do one more shuffle because that shuttle, that shuttle, that shuffle was really shitty. <laughs> okay. One more. Okay. Alrighty. So spirit, what does pile four need to hear at this time? What is important for them to hear? Okay. So we have the two of wands. In reverse, we have the Seven of Swords upright. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Magician upright. On the back of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords upright. All right, let's clarify all of these. The message is already coming through pretty clearly to me. Okay, we have the Two of Swords in reverse. So yeah, we have two, two twos. 
I'm also hearing tiptoe through the tulips. Um, I really wish Spirit would stop because I don't like that song at all. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right, we have the lovers. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands coming in through here. And on the back of the deck, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. And I feel like we have to take this death, let go, and just... Yeah, for a lot of you, this was about a partnership. It's somebody that you really cared about. Um, and I feel like the first thing I have to say right off the bat is it, it doesn't matter how old you are. Like, it doesn't matter how established you are, how long you've been. There's always room for a fresh start. As long as your heart is beating, there is room for another day. There is room for growth. And I feel like you're really discounting your power, Pile 4. The fact that we have the Two of Wands in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse, I feel like Spirit's saying that you couldn't have anticipated this and that you couldn't have. Um, you couldn't have understood. You couldn't have seen this coming. And... and there's this, there's this like bitter thing that I think that I feel sometimes where I'm like, you know, if I can see all this shit, how couldn't I have seen this coming? And I feel like this is you too, where you're like, how could I not have seen this coming? And Spirit's saying, you weren't meant to see this coming. And it's not that you needed to be humbled, because I feel like that's cruel. Like, you do so much for other people, and you have gone through so much already. It's, it's not that you needed to be humbled, but it's that you needed to understand that there are things that you didn't have, that you can't have the answers to as well. And that just because you see so much already, doesn't mean that there's things that you have life completely figured out. And I think that there need, there needed to be awareness of how your attachments were clouding your judgment and how maybe you were um, allowing things that were not in your highest good and allowing things that um, did not show your worth, that did not reflect how worthy you were of love, of affection, of care. I feel like for some of you, this, this was maybe somebody who was unfaithful to you or a growing apart that you couldn't have controlled. And I feel like Spirit was saying that part of your problem right now is that you believe that that somebody can't let that there won't be things to replace this and I think that 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 the thing that you need to grieve when it comes to this is the fact that maybe you viewed you know this blossoming abundance this opportunity to be with somebody that to be with this person like it's almost like you wanted to have success with this person um that left your life and Spirit is saying that maybe they were never meant to be part of the picture and that maybe you got too comfortable in having things figured out. But it doesn't matter how old you are, how far you've come. You have to believe the scarcity mentality, especially I think in terms of believing that you're lovable because for, for a lot of you, this is about love. You have to surrender the idea that you are meant to be a crone like honestly you know you might have this belief that you're meant to be solitary and you know one unfortunate like truth of this type of work is that we do have to often be more solitary and stay away from energies but that doesn't mean that that you have to let go of energies forever that doesn't mean that nobody else is going to replace what falls away i mean you of all people should know that you can manifest whatever you want that that it, it just takes a, a change it takes some manifestation it takes being open for something new to come in and i feel like spirit was saying that they had to intervene because you wouldn't have seen the truth or surrendered to the truth if they hadn't done this and what spirit is saying is that This person or this thing, they weren't deserving of your legacy and that your legacy is still being built. And then I think for a lot of you, there's an even greater partner coming in for you. I do feel like for a lot of you, this is about love. And, and I think that this message might be especially difficult if this is somebody that you've been with for a long time. But Spirit is saying just because something fell through, just because something didn't work, doesn't mean that you're not going to have something new again. You might need to heal before you get into it, but you'll find passion again. You'll find this part. Like, 
you're not down and out. I don't care how old you are. Like tomorrow is another day and there is more to come. And I know for a lot of you, I'm talking about a person because this, this doesn't have to be a person. This could be um, a lot, the loss of a job, the loss of a home. I mean, whatever this is, this loss is really difficult. And like, I want you to know that like, you cannot guilt or shame yourself for being angry at the world or being angry at people. You're allowed to be human too. And you're allowed to be upset about what it is that you've been through. But what spirit wants you to understand is that you still have a legacy to build and you have someone really special to share it with or people in your life to share it with. And But I also think that there's a, a, a broader message beyond people, you know, because the lover's card is often about choices. And in this, in this deck, it talks about the lovers being like duality. And I think that spirit wants you to, to appreciate the duality of this life. It's like, in order for new blessings to come in, you had to release what was blocking it. And I really think that this person, this place, this thing, this noun was blocking this, um, was never meant to appreciate the blessings coming into your life. Because let's be clear, we have blossoming abundance here. And like, I think that if this was a person, they were a damn frog and you're so much more than that. I also caught, found myself, I don't know if this song is significant, but I found myself singing the Baby Beluga song while I was, um, while I was uh, shuffling your cards and getting ready. But yeah, you have this Blossoming Abundance card and what I'm hearing from Spirit is that this is just the beginning for you. You have an, a whole new life opportunity to create. For some of you, I feel like this is a business. For some of you... I think that this is a creation of, of a legacy with somebody that's actually worthy. But I feel like with this Queen of Swords here, it's like you need to change your perspective on this situation. And that might take time. But you will find your passion again. And I feel like it'll hit you out of nowhere. And you really can't anticipate it. But you have to remember that you are the magician of your life. And you've already cultivated, cultivated so much. It's like... It's like spirit wants, wants to sit you down and like, you know how like in movies they might dramatically slap someone's face and be like, put yourself together. Like I feel like Edna mode right now where she's like, you must fight, win, like put yourself together. Like you're a last girl for God's sakes. Like you, you see your worth, God damn it. Like <laughs> I'm getting really passionate about this because I feel like you know, you might need to give yourself time to grieve, but for some of you, maybe you've been grieving this long enough and maybe you're ready to stop grieving, but you need like the okay, that you can start over, that there will be love for you, that there will be abundance for you, that there is a new life coming. Like I said, it doesn't matter how old you are. Like every day is a new day and every day is the start of a new beginning. And we all, we all have different paths and you can't judge yourself for what your path is. Your path is uniquely yours. And sometimes you have to realize that you just can't predict certain things. And also I think that you needed to hear that like your guidance that you've been giving to others has not been tainted by this situation that you can still, that because you are able to remove your own emotions from things that you have been able to seamlessly give other guidance. And that's something you should really be proud of. But spirit really wants you to change your perception to one that's kind of icy and cold in the sense that you deserve all these blessings coming and whoever this noun is or whatever this noun is, they clearly were not deserving of reaping this abundance with you. And that's why spirit got rid of them or it. For some of you, if this is related to a home, I don't want to say that something bad is going to happen to it because like I don't I don't know that and like I think that that's just I don't know but like I almost feel like for some of you I heard they're like like let's say for example this is a really specific example but like let's say that you are a person going through like a divorce or something and um your part your ex is keeping the house like low-key dude like I think there might be like bed bugs come in or like I don't know something might be happening to the house and I think it's it's just karma that they're that they're getting like especially if this person played dirty with you but I feel like spirit wants you to remember who the fuck you are and like that you are so powerful and that you know just because you're down doesn't mean you won't be up again 
And I feel like Spirit's saying that this death was really necessary. I don't think this was a literal death, but I think for a lot of you, this was the death of a partnership that was really special to you. But I feel like Spirit is saying once you're fully on the other side of this healing cycle, you'll understand why this all had to happen and you'll be grateful for it. And you might be like, fuck you, Aso. I'm not going to be grateful for this. This has been horrible. But I'm like, listen, you, you got to you got to you got to see this cycle through. Because in order to in order to fully to to have this this Ace of Wands, this beautiful beginning, you have to let go of the past you know this attachment it's it's you know somebody's mask came off and i feel like i feel like you were attached to who they who they portrayed themselves to be or what this place portrayed itself to be and not the truth of it i'm gonna be honest i feel like for a lot of you this is a, a partnership but just know that this is not this was all part of your plan and also, I think that it's going to provide a lot of inspiration for your creations. It's going to give you the motivation to move forward, to keep going, to be better than you were before. And like, I feel like once you get on top of this, you're going to be unstoppable. And like, there is nothing going to be holding you back. And, you know, this is a necessary time for you. This is a necessary transformation so that you can... Get, bring in all your manifestations and I feel like spirit what one thing that spirit's trying to get you to understand is that you've been mess manifesting some of this stuff for so long but because of your attachment to this noun you haven't been able to see that this noun was what was stopping you from bringing in these manifestations to begin with and that spirit kind of had to intervene in order to let this go through and I feel like spirit needed you to realize that there is so much abundance waiting for you. But when you get attached to certain things that no longer serve you and you're unable to see that, like you have a really strong spiritual, spiritual team around you. Can't stop burping. Sorry. I know I'm gross. Um, and you have to know that they have your back and that this love and you know yourself and this type of work, like the love that we get from our guides isn't always soft and gentle. Sometimes it's tough. And I think that there's a lot that you just need to give yourself a break for and allow yourself to be human and experience this so that you can have this fresh new beginning that you deserve and have all this abundance and, and fully understand why this person was not allowed to, to follow you on this journey. Like Spirit saying, you couldn't have anticipated this. You couldn't have seen this coming. You know, I think of the two of swords, like your vision was clouded. Your third eye was clouded, but it's going to be able to see clearly when you get out from this, when you get out from the cycle and, and spirits telling me you're going to be grateful and to trust that. And you might not believe that now, but it is coming. So, um, we're going to see, we're going to look at the self forgiveness deck and see what you need to forgive yourself for. I think in the extended, I really want to see what these blessings are. So we're really going to focus on what blessings are coming in for you and like what these, what this blossoming abundance is about and what you can expect. So I'm really looking forward to the extended, but I'm going to get you a lot of guidance before that. So spirit, what does pile four need to forgive themselves for? Let's start with these. Okay, yeah, you guys definitely were caregivers to people. And I feel like for some of you, it was your partner. I forgive myself for feeling as though I should not have experiences that I that only I seem to benefit from. I choose to believe that when I give myself permission to independently explore my desires, I am able to return to my loved ones with renewed passion. We also have, I forgive, my, I forgive myself for feeling as though there exists a person that could replace me. I choose to believe that I have a gift that no one else is capable of sharing the way that comes naturally to me. And when I embrace my passion, I own my place in the world. Okay, let's see what else. Spirit, what else? Okay. I forgive myself for feeling as though I need to prove that I am good enough to receive which that which I desire. I choose to believe that I am innately worthy and my worth is not dependent on the way I show up or the extent to which I share with the world. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you were martyring yourself in a lot of ways. And Spirit was like, honey, like you got a big storm coming because like we got to get this shit out of here. You deserve so much more. 
And we have, I forgive myself for attempting to draw conclusions based on in the incomplete truths available to me now. I choose to believe that when I wait patiently without drawing premature conclusions, I allow myself to be swiftly moved to what is meant for me next. Yeah, this is all lining up with like what you've been going through. And let me just say like, I'm, I'm sending you all my love. Like I know this isn't easy and like, and I, I just want to commend you for how strong you are and how much you've already gone through and commend you for even like seeking guidance especially in a general reading which probably is more worth it for you because at least you like have a strong enough intuition when you know that like something is meant for you or not but I can definitely say that this is a very specific pile so people pick this like they'll they'll know but yeah your energy is very distinct and I can pick I I know who I know who I'm channeling and who I'm like not channeling so um yeah but let's see spirit what further advice do you have for pile four when it comes to their situation what does pile four need to hear okay Let's start with this one you're protected. It's go time. You're currently being protected. The universe has your best interests at heart. Move forward fearlessly and have courage. Yeah, you need to understand that the universe truly did and does have your back on this. We also have wealth. Money is on its way to you. Think thoughts of abundance. Yeah, with that blossoming abundance, like you're getting the bag and whoever this noun was, they were in the way of the bag and that was not okay. Forgive, whether in person or in your mind, forgive and move forward. The only person you're hurting by holding on to resentment is yourself and yeah i feel like you don't need to forgive this person but you need to forgive yourself for being in involved in this forgive yourself for for not knowing like honestly i feel like for a lot of you this person doesn't deserve forgiveness and like they you don't owe them your forgiveness i think it's just you need to forgive yourself and like give yourself that peace if that makes sense um what else spirit what else does pile four need to know what else does pile four need to know we have good vibrations you're vibrating at a high level use this to your advantage the law of attraction will work effectively for very effectively for you right now and yeah and i think that's what's so impressive about you is that despite this pain you still are able to like stay in these good positive vibrations like you're still able to give guidance to others you're still able to like function spiritually it's just this like hiccup that's a big hiccup that's really painful but like this should just go to go to show like how much you've been through and how much shit you have seen and how strong you are because like this is just another another bump in your road and you're still like you're still trucking along and you're doing you're let me just say you're doing amazing sweetie <laughs> like amazing and on the back of the deck we have coincidences Take note of the coincidences which are occurring right now. The universe is trying to have a, have its say in your life. Yeah. So definitely pay attention to those. But just know that, man, I'm sending you so much love, Pile 4. I can definitely tell that this has not been an easy journey for you. But let me say that you should be really proud of yourself. And it's okay if you're not right now. But go easy on yourself and trust that there are really good things to come for you. And that... You know, whoever fucked you over, whatever fucked you over, the day of reckoning is coming for them. But for you, there are wonderful blessings to come your way. And for a lot of you, manifestations that you've been working on for a long time that will finally come to fruition. So pile four, if you want to join me in the extended, we're going to see what blessings are coming in for you and what spirit wants you to know. But if you're leaving me here, thank you so much for watching this all the way through. And thank you so much for watching my ads. That is the simplest and easiest way to support me. So I just want to say thank you um, for supporting me in that way. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you left a like and if it resonated, I would definitely love to know down below how. Um, definitely give some other pile for some support because this shit is not easy. Um, if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribed and clicked that little bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a new reading. But if not, that's cool. I'm just grateful you're here. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to read your cards. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night whenever it is that you're watching this. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye.